Hey guys, my name is Terry with Organic Raw Roots Farm. Welcome to my channel. Me and Romeo decided to take a ride today and check things out on the 10 acres. And it really got me thinking, I need to show you our first aid kit. We are in the middle of nowhere. The hospital is about 58 miles but an hour away and when i first bought the farm i said oh no we're gonna have a first aid kit and i really hope i never have to use it um, the first one that i started was just a regular first aid kit and you know a little boo-boo kit and um no we kind of outgrew it already i haven't used it but i keep adding to it so I got this box and you know it has you know meds in it and things and yeah I'm upgrading again and now I'm putting trauma items in it because folks I have sold it my husband a few times but that's another story. I bought this snake bite kit hopefully we never have to use it but if somebody got bit maybe it would help us until care flight came or we were able to get to a hospital. Um, I will leave all the links below for all the products that I have in my first aid kit in case you wanna check it out or even buy it. I have different types of gloves here that some came with a first aid kit and some I put actually in a bag. and you know a gentle tape because i'm the biggest baby when it comes to ripping stuff off your skin but then again aren't we all some of these items came in different types of first aid kits and then some of these items I bought just single um, the ones that did come in kits I bought a kit for trauma I bought a hiking kit I bought a military style kit so different things and different kits and then like I said a lot of the stuff I just bought from the dollar store or Walmart and a lot of things off of Amazon and I will list um, the things that were single and in kits in the description box below in case you want to check it out I made sure I had all different types of band-aids I collected them over a period of a year I have big ones small ones super tiny ones clear ones some with um, a stretchable type material waterproof and oh my goodness characters of like ninja turtles and hello kitty you know even adult maybe will like a character band-aid it does brighten your day now I had to make sure that we had something for the stop bleeding if that actually did occur Okay, this one right here is an ice bag that's refillable. I got it from the Dollar Tree, and I got that one also from the Dollar Tree. And then the others came in first aid kits that I have gotten over the past. And you break them, and shaky shaky, and they give you um, an ice pack, one time use. I made sure we had things to close up a wound like a butterfly stitch. Um, we had different types of tweezers, flat ones, pointy ones, ones that angle, different types of scissors, um, a blade, just a little bit of everything, just to cover grounds. Here was another reason I wanted a first aid kit because he's always up and down on the roof. Sometimes I'm not close by and he scares me a lot. And Ivancito, my boo-boo kit is not that big. 
do not fall. Okay, this sling right here and this round type splint thing, I wish I had three years ago. <laughs> I was kind of on the not so bright side and my husband stopped the tractor and I thought he was getting off the tractor and I walked in front of the tractor and it jumped. And when it jumped, it caught my leg. And my husband jumped off the tractor thinking he broke my leg. No, 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 no. I broke my arm. I broke it right at um, the shoulder. And I really wish we would have had this then, but we did not. And that was a big lesson learned. Actually, two things. Always keep stuff in your first aid kit and the most important one, don't walk in front of a tractor. Now I make sure that I keep meds in the first aid kit. Um, cough medicine, cough drops, aspirin, Advil, Tylenol, Pepto-Bismol. Um, I have my blood pressure medicines there because you just never know what you might or might not need. I also carry in my first aid kit ointments because we got poison ivy, we got plants that stings, we got lots of different yellow jackets, bees, all kinds of things that can bite or sting and I carry Benadryl, um, calomel lotion, neosporin, burn creams, all different types. I also make sure I carry peroxide, alcohol, eye drops, eye wash, um, even uh, Pedialyte for the grandkids, even for adults because you never know, you might have a heat stroke out there. I even carry an emergency one-time use inhaler also as well because I do have asthma. And we always need something for our eyes. Eye drop, eye wash, eye patches, because we only got one set. Okay, guys, this is the rest of the story. This is story time. First disclaimer, just letting you know that please don't go out and just sew yourself because you got a cut. Um, I'm no doctor, no nurse. I'm not telling you to do it. Uh, this is just something that we did. My husband was working on a 1964 Chevy, and we were kind of like on the side of the road. And the fan caught his arm, and um, he needed stitches, and he refused to go to the hospital, of course. And... Um, so we had a needle and some thread and I sewed him up um, we took a needle and we ran it through a candle to sterilize it at the time took pliers and held him by the end because skin is really tough to go through and I forced the needle through my husband has a very high pain tolerance don't ask me how he does it but he does and um yeah i'm gonna show you the video of it the scar this was about 25 years ago maybe more and um i thought i did a pretty good job at it for sewing someone up for the first time okay guys so here's a bonus story for you my husband was working on a car he was torquing down the head of a car which is many many pounds um and the torque wrench slipped and slapped him right in the face and um the top of his eyelid next to his eyebrow was hanging down and he got mad because i wanted i started screaming call 911 you know acting crazy <laughs> and no 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 he went and got the first aid kit and there was no needle of course so we went and got a needle and some thread and we sewed him up the same way i sewed up his arm and all as well okay in this first aid kit i carry a little bit of everything and i carry this kit with me in my car the utv just a on the boat just about everywhere 
and I have a lighter I have fire starter you never know where you're gonna get caught and you're gonna need fire you're gonna need something to keep warm or something to dry yourself with I have flashlights batteries yes I keep it in the first aid kit um, I also um, keep a piece of aluminum foil to make a funnel or a reflection of some sort you never know I keep a small screwdriver in case I got to undo something or break out a window you never know especially living in Florida with all these canals and rivers you never know you know what can happen somebody can run you off the road um, your car can break down in the middle of nowhere and you don't see nobody for days I keep dry packs um, in my first aid kit too as well um, if you have like needles or something like that with the dry packs it will not rust I also keep a first aid kit manual just in case for you know you might need it for some reason and I also keep um, an old insurance card with all our information on it so it's great for identifying in case you pass out or you're really hurt and you can't talk I'm still adding to this kit I have um, a blood pressure machine it's a little handheld. I have an oxygen tester. It's also a very tiny little handheld. I have stuff to check our blood sugar. Um, I'm still ordering different things to put in the boo-boo kit. I guess that's what you can call it. Um, I just hope that we never have to use it. I hope it's money that was spent that's just going to sit there. But to have peace of mind is great. You know, I encourage you, if you don't have a first aid kit and you live on a farm or a big piece of land, I encourage you to make your own first aid kit. Whether it just be a few things from the dollar store or things from Amazon, whether it be a military first aid kit or something huge or something simple make sure you have a first aid kit because you never know what will happen and you need something super fast me and my husband were also scout masters so that also played a big part of me always trying to be prepared and then my faith always tells us to be prepared because you never know by having lots of food water first aid kit you never know i hope you like this video i hope you give it a big thumbs up it really shows youtube that you like what i'm doing and please subscribe and let's become best pals and um i gotta go help him before he falls off the roof all right, God bless him. He does a lot for our family. And I hope to see you back here real soon. God bless. Bye-bye. One more thing before you go. If you get a chance, go follow us on Instagram. We post daily on Instagram and we do a lot of stories on Instagram. We would love to have you there. We would love for you to follow us and become part of our tribe. Have a great day and God bless.